breaking news. And we start the afternoon rush with breaking news in Ledger. That's where police are checking a home for explosive devices and other weapons. This is a bizarre story as a man is dead and the FBI is now investigating. Thanks for joining us for Eyewitness News at 4. I'm Caitlin Nuclo. We're going to send it right over to Channel 3's Dylan Fearing. He is live at the scene in Ledger. And Dylan, walk us through what happened today. Well, Caitlin, this is shocking. Neighbors have been evacuated. They're not allowed in their homes right now, and it could be several hours before they're allowed back in. The FBI is searching the home on this street, on the right side of the street, I'd say about a quarter mile up from where we are right now. Earlier today, an airplane was circling the scene, and this has just been a massive investigation as they're looking for any potential explosive devices or weapons on a property. But really, Caitlin, this all goes back to 2021. A man named Daniel DeChico was arrested for allegedly having a sword, body armor, and riot gear in his car. He didn't show up to court on those charges. Police wanted to come here and arrest him, but police learned about possible explosive devices where DeChico was living, so they called the FBI. When everyone got here today, police found DeChico dead. Now the FBI is checking for potential weapons. The things that we saw on, on the property and in the perimeter certainly raised, raised the level of concern to the point where we said we need help. There's potential for this to go for several more hours or into the next day, and we don't know where else. And if it does go into tomorrow, that certainly speaks, Kaylin, to the magnitude of how many weapons could be on the property and whatever's over there. But the FBI is working with neighbors to make accommodations like putting them in hotels for the night and whatever else they need. Police did not say how DeChico died, but we do know he was 47. Live in Ledger, I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Dylan.